Hello again, friends. I'm joined here on my back porch by Matt Cusick. Matt Cusick. Matt went off yesterday in very entertaining fashion on Twitter about <laughs> stickers. 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 For those of you that don't know, when certain groups do private barrel picks, they will affix a sticker of their own design to the back of the bottle. So, for example, the one we'll be considering today is Woodenville Harrelson Nut Up or Shut Up by the Stockroom. Now, this has become a, a point of controversy recently because you've got uh, some people that don't know when enough is enough, and they push the boundaries of stickers into into places they shouldn't. But we'll talk more about that in a minute. You want? I, I've I've actually just done Matt's part there. Matt, do you talk talk about? Give us the case con stickers, and I'll I'll, I'll interject with some of the pro. Oh, see, but I, I wanted to come fair and balanced now because on Twitter I came off like a crotchety old man, no, which no, I no, am. No, no. But you know, Truth I'm, and advertising. I'm yeah, I'm old beyond my years. But you know, the thing with stickers is. We've, we've done better as a community, or they've done better as a community, you know, in the last three years. Because I remember when stickers used to be just starting to get, like, large, obnoxious. They were covering up labels. They were covering up information. I think there's some better ones out there. So let's let's just start from a blank slate. You you get a private barrel pick, and you turn it over, and there's a sticker. What's your, like, platonic sticker ideal? What what do you want on there, and what don't you want on there? I want information that's not on the label, and, and that's where I would give this Woodenville pick uh, a little bit of credit. Because, one, it's on the back. So if it's on the back, hey... All the power to you. Don't cover up anything on the front. The Woodenville doesn't give you the date. This gives you the barreled on and the dump date. So I'll give them credit on that one. Okay. This one's not too bad. Now, when these get problematic, um, so let's take an example. The the worst sticker ever by uh, broad acclaim is the new riff, Rick Patino, which they called Riff Patino. <laughs> and for those of you that haven't seen it, you can Google Riff Patino and find this. But it's it's Rick Patino, and he's 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 bifurcated in a kind of like a Batman Two Face villain. Sort of, yeah, there you go. Half, a little two -faced. half and half. Half is him winning uh, the national championship with Kentucky. The other half is uh, a depiction of Louisville players. Uh, and in a strip club scenario, there's a pole dancer. There's money <laughs> flying around. They got the poor kid that had the compound fracture in a, in a wheelchair. And um, it just left a bad taste in everybody's mouth except potentially Kentucky basketball fans. I don't, I don't if know. I, if I was that kid, I'd be pretty pissed off and because one thing I think he lost his scholarship the next year because he never really fully recovered from right. it. Right. So and, and you're you're making I mean they they had there was a whole prostitution scandal so you people are being, you know, sexually exploited and, and I think that's that's the point at which people said enough is enough. And you know, these these things are meant to be attention grabby, they're meant to be funny, they're meant to be tongue in cheek, but you can go too far and from the perspective of like New Riff, you know, that's not New Riff is not Jim B. Right, right. Like they are, they're an up and coming craft distillery. A lot of people probably haven't heard about them, and, and more you people and I have both tried agree. it. One of the best new ones. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Two thumbs up to New Riff. But if you were a person that was that was just picking a bottle off a retail shelf and you saw, oh, New Riff, and you turned it around, I mean, they were getting inbound from people that weren't in the whiskey culture, didn't know about store picks, didn't know about stickers, and they were saying, hey guys, what is this? This is tasteless. And they had to explain, like, look, that's not us. And think about it from New Riff's perspective. Think about it as, hey, we're a new company, we're in Northern Kentucky, kind of like a, that Cincinnati, Ohio or area. Mm -hmm. um, and all of a sudden, like, this is what you're going to be known for. Like, this yeah. is what people are going to talk about, is that you guys did some Rick Patino sticker, which you actually didn't. Somebody else put it on your bottle. And there was an interview, I remember, uh, the owner of New Riff talked about, they designed the bottle specifically so that they could put a strip on the side, give you all that extra information for your single barrel pick. I've got one of those. And no, no stickers necessary. And here's the other thing. Think about what's happening right now. We're talking about New Riff. Yes. Yeah. No, or, we're not and, even talking about Woodenville. And, and we're, talking about, we're not even talking about the whiskey. We're talking Jeez. about the, the stupid sticker on the back. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about Woodenville. This is a, a Washington distillery. Um, as I recall, and thankfully, the, the stock room, which is GNS Market, which is my local liquor store, got back to me. They said this is a 72% corn... 22% rye, 6% mm -hmm. uh, bar barley yep. mash bill. Yep. Okay. And the high so, rye comes through there. And uh, and let's just talk about this whiskey. So I get, on the nose, so a problem I get a lot in craft whiskey is that you get, you get and I don't know if this is a cut leaning more towards the tails or if this is something where there's not enough subtractive maturation happening, whether it was aged for too short. Now, that wouldn't be the problem with this because this is five years old. Um, or in small barrels, which is, I understand, not the problem with this either, 53-gallon uh, barrels, but... Um, you know, there can be this, like, funky, dirty element, and I like a little bit of that, <laughs> yeah. but sometimes it tastes like you're just sipping puddle water, and that is not, I should say, the problem with this at all. This is, there's an earthy element there, but it's held really well in balance. Yeah, for me, I, I think a note that we don't talk a lot about in whiskey, uh, when we talk about earthy, because we don't want to talk about fungi or, or, or anything like that, but I'm getting, like, a really awesome, like, earthy mushroom. Yes, yeah, I see it. Like a morel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Or a hen of the woods? 
Those are the two mushroom varieties I've known. So See, I'm, I know Morel. I'm a big shiitake fan. Baby shiitake. Bella. Yeah, there yeah, you but, go. But yeah, Hen of the Woods. I've never really had a Hen of the Woods. But yeah, Morel is what comes to mind on this one. I would pair this with, I, I cook a duck breast and I'll, I'll leave the fat in the pan after I'm roasting the duck and I'll cook like, um, I'll, I'll, I'll like uh, saute some um, some shiitake mushrooms in there. So this would be. I actually did a duck bacon. I did a duck bacon omelet today uh, for the family on Sunday morning. Mm. So that sounds it's, delicious. Oh, it's, it's actually pressed duck breast. To look like bacon. I, I hate things that are made to look like other things, trust me, but this one is delicious. I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn up my nose at it. How about that? I think duck bacon would pair incredibly well with this. Nor uh, should you indeed turn up your nose at this wooden yeah. whiskey because um, when it gets to the palate, it's got all sorts of structure, and I love that about this. That it's not, you know, from the the very first kiss, there's there's um, some rich, like, chocolatey notes. I get, um, we talked about this before, but like a really sticky, Brown, I, I like. I want to say either maple syrup or a um, brown sugar, or simple syrup, um, and then and that tightens up all of a sudden. It doesn't. It doesn't lapse into like being like an overly candied sweetness. This has a really, really got great. Uh, some citric notes in there. Some wooden notes. It's almost like like eat your duck breast, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, boom. Uh, what was the note that you were getting? What were you talking uh, about? What that, the, uh, the, the maple syrup. But the stretch. Yeah, it's almost like hey, get your duck breast. Get your pancake with the syrup on it, and then boom, here's your shot of... A, there you go, yeah, yeah. tighten things up after dinner for... Uh, Absolutely. Mm. This might be a really good dessert whiskey, actually. It's got enough of that of that rich sweetness that you could, um, you know, it could, and it, but it, but it's also got enough structure to, like, cut through. You know, sometimes the palate gets all sort of coated with, like, a, I don't feel like it's like a fatty residue. Yeah, yep. all the stuff, stuff for me, the, the stuff that you ate, you know, mm-hmm. things, I you know, I've, I've one time just sat and had three pours uh-huh. through dinner, and I've had a pour before dinner pour during dinner and a pour after. And definitely what you eat can affect not only your palate, but the way that this stuff kind of goes Oh, down. yeah, totally. So what do, you, what do you think Woody Harrelson would think of this? <laughs> I should I should tell you that, that they, they got in touch and they said, you know, look, it was it was just a joke. And um, Woody Harrelson was not involved in the pick, obviously. But um, that, you know, not up or shot up refers to that's a quote from Zombieland, if look, you guys haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, fantastic movie. And I, I appreciate the, the play on words, you know, Woody, Woodenville, I get it. But uh, I guess my problem is, like, has Woody Harrelson ever said that he loved anything other than weed? Mm. You know, has he ever said that he likes whiskey, that he likes bourbon, that he likes any of this stuff? Yeah. You know, I, I've seen some really in poor taste ones. Like, I saw one, uh, they tried to justify it because the dump date was on 824, and it, you know, Kobe Bryant was on the sticker. And I'm just like, come no, on. No, see, that too soon for me. I would it, I would cut that. That There's there's nothing that you're going to, like. The NBA Finals are still going on. I'm still annoyed every time. It's like, oh, my gosh, LeBron scored the 81st point mm. with 8 minutes and 24 seconds left. It's like, it's like. I, I think if you asked his, not to get too heavy, I think if you asked his family, they'd rather have him around than trying to, like, yeah, no, you know, support I, I mean, your crazy look, numbers. And, and, and there are some really poignant ones, honestly. Like, I've seen uh, people that had either um, family members that died or pets, and there was there was some aspect where, like, somebody's dad loved Wild Turkey, and they did a pick that was, um, I love that. That was I a, a commemoration of that guy's life, and it was something he would have liked. And that, like, those are great. That's a yeah. perfectly good reason to add a sticker, but, like, not every pick needs a sticker. Yeah, not every pick needs a sticker. I think on the back is great. Uh, here's a couple of my ground rules, right? Oh like, yeah, like, sorry. Like a small, like a small logo. That's fine, classy. Uh, additional information. That's great. That's good. Don't put any celebrities that have never endorsed whiskey or bourbon or have any connection to their brand. Don't do that. Copyright content is uh, a no-no because, and, and, yeah. and this is this is something we got around to talking about the other day. The end game of this is that somebody's gonna be so embarrassed, right? That by by something tasteless put on a sticker, or there's gonna be some legal trouble, and that distiller is just gonna say, you know what, no more stickers. And if we catch you doing one, I don't care what it is, I don't care how innocuous. If we catch you doing one, you're cut out of our pick program. I think barrel picks are one of the coolest things about the hobby when people are able to do it. Uh, I went on one, and the, the topic of the sticker came up, and then all of a sudden I got nervous. I'm like, you know, because everybody knows, like I'm a kind of curmudgeon on it, and I, <laughs> I said, okay, I'm willing to compromise. I can't wait for somebody, and you know, no royalties needed. Do the first like off white with sneakerheads. I don't know if you guys noticed. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Uh, do an off white Virgil Abloh, like just a white sticker with quotes. Sticker. sticker. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that comes to mind is my kid loves cars, the Disney Pixar movie, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, the first thing she makes fun of the race car. Uh, Sally makes fun of McQueen for having stickers. She calls them stickers. So, stickers. That's his so, name. So don't go overboard with the stickers. Uh, <laughs> they do. Yeah, some of the bottles they want to put multiple stickers. Then you get into a whole NASCAR situation, like you, <laughs> like you, like you put a. This one actually obscures a bit of the back label. So so points deducted for that. It's not. Look, I, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody is going to walk into the store and go, "Oh, Woody Harrelson endorsed this whiskey." Like like we all get it. But yeah. seriously, if you're thinking about do, doing a sticker, keep it tasteful, keep it restrained, keep it appropriately sized. Give us some info. Give us—it's it's not just a, a 
pay attention to me, look at me, yeah. whatever thing. And share your thoughts in the comments section. Yeah, I'd love, love to hear contrary views. But, but great dessert whiskey. Yeah, no, this or is dinner wonderful. Whiskey, hey, I say. cheers, man. Cheers. And cheers to you all for watching. Really appreciate the time and uh, continued engagement. So thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. All the best.